Guys, 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 I have a rub. I want to give you that rub. So here's the rub. We are going to build an online translation ordering form using BricsForge Pro Forms. This is going to happen in the next 10, 20, perhaps 60 videos. And today's introduction video is going to be a sort of background on how the original form came to be. And then we're going to look through the form together to see what we're up against and how we're going to build this. My hope is that with this video series, I'm going to shine a light on a little bit of what can be done with pro forms. I think it's an extremely powerful forms tool. It can do a lot of what, you know, the really nice tools that we all love can do fluent forms, WS forms and gravity forms. <clears throat> and just for the fact that it's tightly integrated into bricks, it makes it a very nice tool to use because we don't need to, you know, double do a lot of the styling or anything like that because, again, it's right in bricks. So let's go to the background first. So the original form that you're looking at here is a form that I built actually for the previous incarnation of this website. And I used Gravity Forms to build that and was in mid-2022. And it was one of the most excruciating experiences of my professional life. It was absolutely horrible building this with Gravity Forms. I felt extremely limited. Gravity Forms was buggy. It was trying to sabotage me at every turn. And I actually wrote a blog post about it just as a kind of therapy after I was done. And if you're interested, I'm going to link to it in the description of this video. Do check it out. It gives you a big a bit of background on what happened when I was trying to build this. I even recorded videos about bugs that I was seeing and all that kind of stuff. But we are here now. The website has been rebuilt and we're actually currently working on doing on SEO for this website. We're going to do service area pages and more service pages and about us page and FAQ page. So we're about to expand it a lot and Actually, just a little bit more background. That is the reason why I rebuilt this website in the first place. Originally, I built this with Beaver Builder. And now that we want to do actual SEO on it, um, there's, there's no way I was going to do that with Beaver Builder. So I said, listen, I'm going to rebuild this with bricks for you. I explained to her why that's better. And that's where we are right now. So we have a beautiful new website. And she's about to have a lovely new form eventually but as it stands as of today february 1st 2025 we still have the old order form up on sntranslations.de slash order en it's available in four languages the original language is german of this whole website is german and then there's the english order form the russian and the ukrainian one we're gonna click through the english one so you see what's what we're building and what you know, you can already get an idea of what the challenge is going to be. This could, this going to be stumbling around during this video series. I'm going to try to figure some stuff out, and it's it's going to be very interesting. I don't know if we're going to rebuild this, you know, feature by feature and like everything. For instance, we have this progress bar here. This is like page one of two. Yeah, I mean, do we need this bar? I don't know, but we're going to find out if it's easy to implement. Either way, we have a country of issuance. We have the source language. And we have the target language, and you know, you can pick it's from Ukraine, whatever. And <clears throat> originally, with Gravity Forms, when you were picking, depending on the country of issuance and the source and target languages that you would pick, there was already conditional logic here that, you know, if something was only available if the country of issuance was Germany, then these would just not display. But that conditional logic, especially because conditional logic further down the line depends on this it it caused the order system to break and so at some point <clears throat> i actually undid the conditional logic so we might even try to put that back in but here you can see you can choose to have your marriage certificate translated birth certificate driver's license and so on so with every one of these that you want translated you can decide whether you want it uh, just with no apostille 
which is a certain document that you can attach to a translation to make it legally binding or legally acceptable if you have an apostille enclosed. So, you know, depending on if you want that with an apostille enclosed or not, it's going to be more or less expensive. So that's going to, again, already, depending on what you choose here, you're going to have different pricing, right? So we, we picked these two, marriage certificate and birth certificate. So further down, these two popped up. If I pick another thing, then, you know, another one's going to pop up here. So that's hunky dory and the desired quantity. So I say I want two of these and I want one of this. And then already we start, calc we see calculations here, right? It gives you some, it gives you like the price at the moment. You can upload those documents. Then you still, you get your subtotal and you, for specific document types, I think, let's see which document types have options. I mean, some of these document types, you can decide, like, do it, do, how many pages does it have or something like that. Let me see. Let's just check it out. Yeah, see if we can get some options here. But either way, I think, like, in the before we even go get into rebuilding this thing, we're going to have to go into FigJam and kind of make a flow chart of how it's going to work. So it's going to be interesting. Okay, no, right now, none of the options. I, come on, really? I mean, fuck it. We've all got time, right? You've got time. Let's see. Some document here has to have options. If not, then, hey, we're just finding out live that part of this order form is broken to begin with. So let's see. Mm -mm. I want one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Come on, please work. Yeah, so there we go, right? Divorce decree, how much, how, how long is the divorce decree? Three pages. A lot of fighting going on between these people. Options, school leaving certificate includes attachment, yes. Specify here, other document. Yeah, right. If you want to order any other documents, then you can write down here what they are. So we're at 505 euros. How urgent are these translations? It's like one week or do you want to have them in one day? That doubles the price. So at, now we're at 575 bucks and so on, right? I think there's, you know, you can you can already tell that like there's conditional formatting there's conditional logic on this which hooks to the conditional logic of this which then hooks to more conditional logic up here and it's just all like every time all these conditional logic rules are multiplied and that's just the only way to do this in gravity forms i mean i don't remember the, the ins and outs but and again you can read the review to see the kind of hell i went through to, to just make this whole thing work and i'm I mean, I haven't looked into it very deeply yet, but I'm certain that this is going to be easier to do with ProForms. So we've got quite the task ahead of us. It's going to be really interesting. So we have, yeah, so $575 euros in. Uh, that's, uh, that's a month's pay if you're me. Okay, let's see. We're always here for you, guarantee. Yeah, yeah. Now we're, we're on page two out of two. <clears throat> And payment, and then you get like here, you get an order total, right? You get this breakdown, which is uh, an extra plugin that you need to install on top of Gravity Forms that will show you this. And it's made by third party developers. I'm just pointing that out because just making that work, it feels like they're kind of screwing it and bolting it on on the outside and sort of it, it feels janky. But I mean, and it, it ended up working. And Natalia is paying, I think, like 200 or 180 euros each year to just just for the license for both of for both gravity forms and gravity perks which is the package that contains this kind of thing and in the future if we build this with pro forms she's gonna pay zilch so it's good for her and it's better for me because my mind is gonna be at ease with this your name yeah yeah then you got the you know who am i do I want to pay with what what kind of shipping do I want? And then depending on the shipping, there's going to be different fields that pop up here with like the address, email address and all that stuff. Total payment by bank transfer. And yeah, if it's payment by, hang on, what's the payment type? Um, there used to be, I think it's just payment by bank transfer at this point. Originally, Natalia had payment by PayPal, but it ended up being a nightmare for her for her accounting efforts. So yeah, she did that. Also, like if you look at the rest of the website, just for shits and giggles, this is the current, this is the website that I just recently finished like a couple of weeks ago. We went live with that. And you, you're you going to see that, you know, it's fairly consistent in terms of, obviously in terms of branding, look and feel layout. 
And in order to make the gravity forms thing consistent, I just had to write pages and pages of CSS. Well, actually, I mean, it's not crazy amounts of CSS, but there's obviously, since it's not integrated with bricks, and since the, the, the controls that gravity forms comes with only go so far, you really have to have to write a whole lot of CSS yourself in order to to make it look anywhere near the, the rest of the website is looking. And you know, these kinds of like there's no easy way really to to just get rid of this the spacing here, the these this this white space, because actually there's like there's invisible elements here that actually you needed to put in to do some calculations in the back end to, to make this work. That that so they're here and I think I use CSS to make them invisible. Ah oh, fuck if I remember. Anyway, <laughs> I'm stuck with this for instance. And that's something that we're not gonna have to do with ProForms. I think ProForms is gonna be much better. So do we have this? Beware. Prices for other document types and additional information. Yeah. It's just a field where you can do any other kind of I wanna tell you this, I wanted this. Privacy policy, I, I read it and acknowledge it, and then you can send it. So this is the form that we're going to be rebuilding. I consider you now prepared. You may now go and meditate on this. Please take your time. Please see if you have an enlightened epiphany, and I'm going to get a pizza. Talk to you soon. Bye.